name is Makeni Zoneveld, convener of... Welcome to channel A Woman's Place. Don't be fooled by the name A Woman's Place. It's not only for women. It's for anyone who cares about societal issues. Today's topic is female bosses suck. I can hear you think, no ways. I'm a good female boss. No ways. I have a good female boss. No ways. I know a good female boss. I know you are right because I also know good female bosses and I want to believe I was once one. This is not about the good female bosses. This is about the ones who suck big time and why they suck. I deliberately use the word boss and not leader because leader is a broader concept than being in charge. In chapter 5, on page 19 of the book, A Woman's Place, I admit I was one of those people who used to see leadership as a position or a title. That was until John C. Maxwell wrote The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership in 1998 and The 360 Degree Leader in 2005. I know it has become very fashionable to talk about the fact that leadership is not a title or a position without acknowledging him. Having said that, I would like to restrict today's topic to positional leadership. Am I saying only female leaders suck? No. Like you, I know male bosses who also suck. Am I saying all female leaders suck? No, like you, I know great female bosses. There are many leadership styles. The most common one is the one you don't find in leadership books. I call it the testosterone leadership style. This is common because both men and women have been exposed to role models who suck. Monkey see, monkey do. Women are supposed to be nurturers. And this is what they are supposed to bring to the workplace. But many of them don't. They try to outdo men in testosterone behavior. They become male bosses with boobs. Why? That is the question for today. It's for the same reason that black people try to look like and some of them even try to sound like white people. Where I come from, South Africa, if you give your child a beautiful name, Tebuho, it means gratitude. She calls herself Tebuho because people who used to have all the privileges cannot pronounce Tebuho or Shengiwe or Tamsang. One good thing that the old government did is they banned hydroquinone, the main ingredient in skin lightening creams. Of course, that was because of pressure from social activists, not because they really cared about our skins. Sadly, it is the same government that treated black people like second-class citizens, but that's a topic for another day. If you treat people like second-class citizens, you get what I call the hydroquinone effect. By that I mean the behavior of people who internalize their supposed inferiority and try to be like those who are treated as first-class citizens. Women did not get the same opportunities in the past, so they reject and deny their femininity. This is professional advice given to women. If you want to be taken seriously and exude power, speak with a deep voice. Translated, sound like a man. If you want to be powerful, you'd better look powerful. You know, look powerful like a 
a leader of a big country like Germany, you'd better never be seen with anything pink or yellow or dotted or frilly or lacy. Translated, the only difference between your clothes and the clothes of a man should be that the buttons face the other way. Women get advised not to smile on profile pictures because men don't smile. They look serious and powerful. What's the point of having female bosses if they are going to be fake men? Why don't we just carry on with the real men? That is the reason some women behave like men with boobs and they suck just like those men. Sadly, some women see men as the norm and they see themselves as a deviation from the norm and they don't even admire the men who don't have the testosterone approach. I think I cover that adequately in chapter 7 of A Woman's Place from page 35 under the heading Do Women Bring Their Strengths to the Workplace? If you have not yet read the book, please download it for free at the click of a button. There's no registration forms asking for your email address. Just go to www.awomensplace.international, not.com. Please read the book and let's have a constructive conversation. All the resources on awomensplace.international as well as on makeni.com are free downloads with no forms. Please download these free resources and share them. Now back to our sisters. Isn't it about time women brought their strengths to the workplace? Isn't it about time we helped the world, everyone, male and female, to be rid of the testosterone leadership style by showing there's a better way? If we really believe we have something to offer as women, we should offer it and not try to be something else. In 2013, I mentioned in my management book, Storytelling Meets Management, the fact that a management trainer strongly recommends the usage of the F word in the workplace. He says you cannot build trust without this word. Is that how low we want to sink as a society? Women are not only trying to be men when it comes to the workplace. We look into other aspects of how women are trying to be men in subsequent topics. For now, let's talk about women adopting a leadership style that sucks. Let's have a constructive conversation. In the video on the first topic, which is, are you sure you dance into your own tune? I raise the fact that the race to the top of the corporate ladder is not our agenda as women. It's someone else's agenda. Please watch it. All you do is go to a woman's place international and click on video blog. The idea of this project is not that you watch the videos and email me on inbox me with your comments like most people do. The idea is to join the open online conversation right here on YouTube. You type your comment on the box below. You can also continue to spread the word by word of mouth on Twitter, Facebook, email, or you can spread the word by word of mouth. It's all well and good to raise issues and talk about problems but we need to talk solutions too. Project A Woman's Place says, let's put our heads together and come up with solutions. Have your say online. If you know people with ideas worth spreading, I would like to interview them here at the Project A Woman's Place studio. And if they are far away from the Netherlands, we are still in the same global village. I can interview them through Skype. Maybe you would like to be interviewed. Please contact me on the contact page of the website. While you are there, 
You can send a topic suggestion or a question or sign up for the newsletter. Let's have a constructive conversation. 